Hello everybody, this is English for you and a very warm welcome to the studio. Let me introduce my guests. First, I have my Fozeko student, Marton. How are you doing? I'm fine. You are a freshman and the camera is on you. Can you feel the camera? Yes, I can feel it. It doesn't hurt, does it? A little bit. A little bit, okay. Kata, how are you doing? I'm fine. Okay, Victoria? Fine. Peter, you're another freshman. How are you doing? Fine. Okay. Evika, would you give me a wave? Yes. And again, I can't see Mochi. I mean, I don't know what this guy is doing, but again, I'm going to talk to this guy after the show. Okay. And today's special guest is Mr. Andrew Prince, who is a journalist. And I believe you've been to a couple of countries in your life, right? Uh, what, what is it? Hi, everybody. Can, can you, can you? Oh, yes. yes. That's that's what the sound I could hear Child. all the time. What is this uh, vehicle? This is a almost motor bicycle. I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's call it a motorboard. How about that? Motorboard. Where okay. did you get it? I get it from you. I got it from you. Okay. There's a kickstand. Would you just oh, it's just a stand? Right. Okay. Thank you very much. You can go back to your place. Okay. And could you just leave After it? the show, okay, you can fine. try it. Good. Thank you very much. Great. Okay, sorry, sorry, Andrew, again, I mean, this guy, I mean, you know. So, um, you're a journalist, and uh, a lot of countries you've been to. So, can you mention a couple of countries? Oh, yeah, I've been to a few countries uh, in my life, uh, all the way from to Georgia, Kyrgyzstan, right near China, and, uh, and I love traveling. And, right. Uh, Guys, do you know the... the the word for Georgia in Hungarian? It's in uh, Georgia. the... F Georgia. Uh, Gruzia. In the Caucasus. Gruzia, also the name of a state in the United States, right? Am I right? Am I right? Absolutely. Fine, okay. So, we are going to talk about vehicles. That was the first vehicle Mati just brought in. But the second vehicle is going to come up pretty soon. But before that, a vehicle is something that is used for carrying people from one place to another. Everybody please, vehicle. Vehicle. Great. Okay, now there are some nice vehicles and I wonder if you can link the vehicle to a city. And here comes the first vehicle. Can you mention the name of it? Double Decker. Double Decker. And what is the city? London. Victoria, how do you know? <laughs> It's, it's just typical of London, it's like a sign of it. Right, and if you travel on the top deck, this is the cheapest sightseeing tour, it's just wonderful, right? Have you ever ridden on, on the top floor? No, not really. No, you must try. When you go to London, don't pay for a sightseeing tour. <laughs> go by bus. And the next picture is going to come up pretty soon, and again your job is going to be to link it to a city and it's going to come up pretty soon right uh, Kota you have an idea it's Venice but I don't know it's called gondola it's called gondola and it's Venice you're absolutely right and you can see Salvatore or Alessandro <laughs> singing <laughs> la donna e mobile <laughs> it's typical of Venice right good now comes the third and it's going to be a little bit more difficult to find out Kota is thinking hard I can see yeah, it. If you've got an idea, would you put... Maybe San Francisco. How do you know that? It's also very typical because it's a streetcar, I guess, and it's uh, very famous. It is very, very famous. It's a, it's a kind of symbol of San Francisco, and it's called cable car because there's a continuously moving underground cable which pulls this vehicle. Right, here comes the fourth vehicle, and I, I wonder if you can uh, recognize this, or if you can link it to a city. Right, Andrew, over there. H-E-V. H-E-V. H -E -V. H -E -V. No, no. <laughs> it may look like, a, look like a hit, but it's not a hit. This is from, from Montreal, which is where I'm from, as you finally know now. And uh, Montreal basically... Uh, it's not as famous as the other ones, but, but uh, Montreal is known for having a, an underground city, which means basically it's so cold in Montreal that sometimes when you're going from point A to point B, they arrange the city so that you never even have to come above ground. So you, you go down you, and you go into the metro, 
you go to you, you get out of the metro and from the metro station you go directly up to your office to work and so it's all arranged you have shopping malls you have everything so it's not so famous but it, it's famous to me because it's my city thank you very much Andrew and this is a vehicle of public transport it's a system which carries passengers from one place to another and it's open to general public so everybody can take it let me refer back to the gondola you must pay a lot of money if you want to take the gondola but if it's a vehicle of public transport it's relatively cheap okay could you come up with a good word for public transport excellent say it again good right okay now we have um, the double-decker for London the cable car from San Francisco what would you choose as a symbol of Budapest what vehicle Underground. Say it again. Underground. The underground. Which one? The blue line? The, the yellow. Red, the yellow line. The first in the continent. Right. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. Right. And I've chosen this beautiful vehicle, the yellow. What is this? Tram. Tram, Tram in British English. Streetcar. Streetcar in American English. I just love this. It's got three <laughs> carriages, and I think this is the loveliest vehicle. But it's very subjective. Andrew, you like this? I do. You too. I do. It gives a character to the city. Right. Yeah. And going back to Montreal, you have the metro system. Would you call it metro system? We have a metro. We, we call it metro in Canada. And what else have you got as, as far as public transport? Uh, we also have buses, uh, public it. transport. That's public all. Transport. So they have buses and the metro and nothing else. But if you think of Budapest, we have a very rich variety of public transport, a nice variety. And this little booklet. Travel with us in Budapest. Fahren Sie mit uns in Budapest. <laughs> so this little booklet is the source of inspiration because we have seven different types of vehicles, not just two as in Montreal or in London for that matter. Now we're going to see the first four and I wonder if you can recognize, if you can identify the vehicles with the help of these pictures. Victoria, the first. Okay, the first is maybe a bus. Correct. <laughs> the second is the tram or the streetcar. Th yes. The third is the special bus that has cables above it. It's called Sorry. trolley bus. Tro okay. <laughs> it's, it's called trolley bus. <laughs> and the fourth. And that's the metro, maybe. That's the metro. Could we have the the names, the English names for this? Yes. As you can see, you're <laughs> absolutely right. Bus. Tram, British English, streetcar, American English, trolley bus, and metro. Now that was the easy bit. Now comes the difficult one because we have three more. Could we have the, three, the, the other three, please? And it's really, really difficult. If you don't know the names in English, then you can come up with the names in Hungarian. Kota? No, I have no idea. No idea? <laughs> <laughs> Fogaskerek. Yeah, say, say it again. Fogaskerek. The first or the second? The second. The second. And the first is the yellow underground. The yellow underground. The oldest one. In Hungarian? Turkish for the Latin. Yes. And the, the fourth is the Have. Yes. Wonderful. The Have. Okay. Could we have the, the English names for them? Yes. It's called, what a nice name, Millennium Underground. This one, this thing of beauty, <laughs> is called Cogwheel Railway. Cogwheel Railway. And the third is, and this was in this beautiful leaflet, Have. They couldn't find a good English name for this. Maybe it's, it's a sort of shuttle between um, Saint André and, and Budapest, but... Suburban railway, maybe. Suburban railway. The native would say that, suburban railway. Fine. Good. Now, I asked Marton to do a little bit of research, and what have you learned about this beautiful uh, carriage, which is going to come up pretty soon? And uh, here we go. It's going to come. It's just, it's going to take five seconds. Right. So what's the story, Marta? Well, the Millennium Underground was built in uh, 1896. And uh, the first uh, underground was built in London in 1836. And uh, it's, it's very cheap and it's quick, it's quick and easy to build because they uh, don't have to destroy anything uh, just for the road of this vehicle. So what is the disadvantage of this? 
Well, uh, you can't build it anywhere because there are water pipes and uh, under the ground and you can't uh, destroy them. Yeah, so it follows the line of the street. Right. Okay. And can you see this beautiful carriage now? Martin? No. No, uh, because uh, now it's changed a lot. Right. So this was in use between 1896 and 1973. And it's gone. We have new carriages, mm -hmm. but I think this was nicer. Okay. okay. And Peter, I asked you, but the others don't know, but they asked you to do a little bit of research yes. in the... Cogwheel Railway. See it again. Cogwheel Railway. Yes, it's pretty old, isn't it, Peter? Yes. Okay, so what's the story? Uh, it's taking passengers from Városmajor to Szabadsághegy, and uh, uh, it was built more than 100 years ago in 1873 uh, by the plans of an engineer called Katri. Uh, and at first it had a steam engine, but then in 1929 uh, it was given an electric locomotive and now uh, there are traveling Austrian locomotives. Right. Thank you very much. And how does it look? Why does it call? Why, why is it, sorry, why is it called cogwheel? There uh, must be an answer to this. Oh, look at this beautiful picture. So yes. why is it called cogwheel? Uh, between the two wheels there is a cogwheel. Uh, which is uh, which gets caught to a uh, rack rail between the two rails, uh, and this doesn't let the train sl uh, slide back. Slide back, excellent. So ground. a cogwheel has teeth, <laughs> right? <laughs> Actually, teeth. So it's very, very strange. Um, it's a very strange vehicle. Also, thank you very much, Peter. Again, this leaflet, and it has a passage which says, "Discover Budapest with us." which is very nice, but here is our first sentence I've taken from this passage, and it's not really tourist-friendly, I must say. Andrew, would you, would you read it out, please? Those who travel without a valid ticket or pass <laughs> must pay surcharge. Thank you very much. So, discover Budapest without those who travel without, not really tourist-friendly, right? Uh, what's a valid ticket? First of all, I want to talk about this. Yes, a ticket that you can legally use and a pass. Mochi. Big red point. Thank you very much. You're shining now. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Okay, good. And the surcharge? Would you use that, Andrew? Would you use that? Uh, I wouldn't use it, but uh, it, it's a penalty, I would say. You, you have to pay some extra money. Good. My question is, have you ever traveled without a ticket? Put up your hand if, if the answer is yes. Have you ever, you two, have you ever got caught? Kota, what's the story? Well, once I lost my, uh, my uh, <laughs> identity card, and uh, so I couldn't uh, write those numbers on my pass. And, uh, I had the pass, but the guy said that I had to write something on it. But I couldn't because I didn't know the number, so I had to go to Akatsvalutsa. And you had to pay? Yeah. How much? Uh, I think 800 points. Okay, bad luck. <laughs> right. Um, again, another sentence from this leaflet. And again, over to Andrew to, to read it out. And again, a tourist-friendly uh, <laughs> sentence. Traveling on the vehicles is only possible with pre-purchase tickets. Pre-purchase. A ticket that you have bought before traveling, right? Now here's a little situation. You're gonna be a tourist without a ticket, without your passport. And Kota, I believe you're gonna be the, the conductor, right? So uh, le let me help you a little bit. This is going to be the, the carriage and it looks nice, isn't it? Sit down here, mm -hmm. right, and start. Good morning, sir. Tickets, please. G uh, good, good morning. Uh, well, I, you know, I don't, I don't have one. Oh, uh, how is it possible? You should have buy one. Uh, well, you know, I, I thought, can I buy one with, from you? Uh, no, you can't because I don't sell tickets. But if you have a pass, that's, that will do. If I have a, a pass? Yeah. I, I, no, I don't have a pass. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bad luck. 
Well then, uh, do you have any cash with you? I, I, I don't have any cash, but, but I, I, do you take credit cards? Oh no, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take credit cards, but well, I'll give you a check, but could you give me your uh, personal data, please? Your uh, name and uh, number, uh, address. Oh uh, yeah, I can do that, yes. That's great, so? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's Andrew Prince. And it's, uh, I guess, Akat's vote, so that's where I'm going anyways. Well, and in, right. in Budapest. Okay. You told me. Here you are. Thank you very much. Good day, sir. Good day to you, too. Have a nice day. You, too. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. It was excellent. I think we should just applaud a little bit because it was fantastic, wasn't it? Right. You're applauding when I just got a ticket? I, I don't know whether it has to pay. <laughs> right. Okay. Would it be a lifelike situation in Montreal? No. Why not? In, in, in Montreal, when you go to the... There's, here you have a system where they, they, they trust you that you're going to pay. In Montreal, they don't trust you. In Montreal, you just... When you get to the, into the metro, you've got to pay immediately. And then... Only then do they let you in. Right. So we have an honor system. Honor system, yeah. Right. Okay. Now we are traveling to Africa and to a couple of different countries and the first country we are going to travel to is Mogadishu Somalia Mogadishu is the capital Mogadishu Somalia the second country is going to be I think this is the right way to hold it Benin and the capital city is Cotonou so we are going to travel to Somalia and Benin group one everything about a very strange vehicle in Somalia Group two, everything about another strange vehicle in Benin. Could we have the first clip, please? Welcome to Mogadishu, Somalia. Here, if you're sure of your grip on adventure, catch one of these jalopies, Hajia Hamsons. In, or rather, on top of these local taxis, you can really put your best foot forward. In Benin, traffic whizzed through the streets of the capital Cotonou, as usual with Zemijans, or motorbike taxis, as the get-you-there-quick solution to any transport bothers. Over a million of these monster bikes sputter through the streets of Cotonou, making the city seem like the scene of a Grand Prix race. Right. Uh, Martin, could you catch anything about the vehicle in uh, Somalia? Yes, they are local taxis, and they... Uh, and they uh, go to the top of this local taxi. Yeah, you taxi. can get in or, or on out. top. Fantastic. Local taxis. Uh, Peter, could you catch anything about yes, the... Yes, uh, yeah. uh, they are motorbikes, uh, I think called Zamijans. Fantastic. <laughs> and, and there are lots of motorbikes like this, them, and uh, it, the whole thing makes the city look like a Grand Prix. Fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Would you like to get in a taxi where you can sit behind the driver like this and this is a taxi. I think I wouldn't like it. How about you? <laughs> it's, it's very strange, isn't it? I, I wouldn't mind, actually. It's, <laughs> so it's kind of fun. Kind of fun. Okay. Now the second country we are traveling to is <laughs> Mauritania. And this picture was taken in Mauritania. And I'm going to ask uh, Kata, would you please describe the picture? I think we are in a room, and in the room there are six people. Uh, they are eating or doing something like this, I don't know. Uh, well, uh, it has a very strange tapestry on the walls. I would call it wallpaper. Wallpaper, okay. And uh, I think it might be somewhere in Africa because of uh, the skin. Thank you very much. I must say that this is not a room, but this is the inside of a vehicle. What kind of a vehicle we're going to see pretty soon and uh, the thing you've got to listen to is what is Mauritania's top ride? Okay, shall we have the clip please? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to come pretty soon. For a more luxurious cruise, step onto the blue train. It's Mauritania's top ride, drawing overseas tourists for desert excursions. There isn't much to see from the cabin window, except sand, and more sand, and even more sand. In this desert country, a train can get you anywhere. It's a versatile mode of transport, with wagons freighting even livestock and iron ore. Right. Mochi? Bicycle. 
Oh, no. no. <laughs> Black point. Black point. First time. Yes. Um, Victoria, please. It's it's the blue train that can get you anywhere, but you can't see much from its windows. Just sand or more sand, and even more sand. And even more sand. And but tourists Love seem, it. seem to like it, and, yes. and it's good for desert excursions. Wonderful. Now this is going to be the loveliest vehicle. It. We are traveling to Kenya. <laughs> and the vehicle is called Tuk Tuk. Mm. That's the name of this vehicle. Tuk Tuk. Tuk Tuk. <laughs> and it's, this is called an ingenious machine, a very clever machine. And my question is this why is it called an ingenious machine? Why is it very clever? Shall we have the next clip, please? But nothing, absolutely nothing, beats travel by Tuk Tuk. Chugging along at 30 kilometers per hour, it's one of the slowest, but nevertheless steady ways of traversing Africa. The Kenyan-made autocart is a truly ingenious little machine. Not only is it an attention grabber, it's perfect for skirting the potholed roads of the continent while getting all sorts of merchandise from flowers to fresh fish to the market. Right, so why is it an ingenious machine? Martin, could you get it? Uh, well, I think because it can uh, transport anything, like a fish or flowers, and and also cotton. And there are very bad roads in this uh, country, and it can go on them. Yes, you're looking for words, and may I help you? There are potholes in Kenya, not in Hungary. <laughs> in Kenya, there are potholes. In the surface of the road, there are holes, and they are called potholes. And this tuk-tuk, this ingenious machine, can go around the edge of this. So it can skirt, skirting potholes, right? In Hungarian, I think tuk-tuk should be translated as kátyú kerülő. <laughs> we don't need them. We What need it in Hungary too, I think. We need it? <laughs> yeah. So let's, let's import a couple of tuk-tuks from <laughs> Kenya. <laughs> right, okay. Sure. Now what was the, the most exciting vehicle you've ever taken and uh, Victoria and I think I believe you're gonna have a picture yes what, yes. what is this it's the ferry and um, it transports people between Dover and Calais uh, to England or to France <laughs> and uh, it's really wonderful it's a huge ship it's unbelievably enormous and it consists of more stories and on the lower stories there are the cars and buses or anything that you want to put there and on the upper ones there are duty-free shops and restaurants and you can have great fun and the sea looks wonderful yeah so you enjoyed it a lot yes okay let me show you the the, the word ferry right which travels between Cali and Dover yes. right Andrew may I turn to you Sure. The, the weirdest vehicle you've ever taken, as a journalist, you've been to a couple of countries. So what was the weirdest? In, uh, in, in Georgia, in Kyrgyzstan, especially in Kyrgyzstan, there's, there's a, a vehicle called the, the Marshutspa. And uh, the Marshutspa is kind of like a little van, basically, that, because the public transportation is really bad. So this van basically picks you up. So there's no stops. You just get picked up wherever you, you hail them down. <laughs> and then they'll, they'll pick you up. You pay your fee. And then you kind of tap the, uh, the conductor's uh, arm when you want to get off. And then he'll just stop wherever you are. And then he'll, he'll get you off. And everybody's there squished, about 12 or 15 people in this, this uh, marshutspa. And yeah, this is, a very, this is another vehicle on the projector. Would you say something about it? Yeah, this is a, a vehicle that was uh, taken by, the picture that was taken by a colleague of mine, Bela Sandelsky, who's a photojournalist. And he went to Pakistan to take a picture of the... Um, of this vehicle, and uh, and you could see pictures like this. I have a website, and we put all of our pictures of all the stories of where we go, and what kind of things that we see. And it's called uh, www.ontheglobe.com. So, if you're interested in it, in stories yeah. around the world, yeah. would would you repeat it, please? What was yeah. it? Yeah, it's www.ontheglobe. That's O N T H E G L O B E. Thank you. So this was a nice lesson about spelling. <laughs> Would you, could we have that beautiful Mashutspa? No. What, what's the name of that thing? Tuk Tuk. No. What, what is the name of that? Motor, motorboard. Motorola. Would, would, you, yeah. would, would, you, would you bring it here, Martin? Would you help me? Yeah. 
would you just put it put it there very quickly and uh, okay uh, that way I believe and uh, I think that what I need is the words first and then we're gonna start this little beauty so I hope the words is going to the words are going to come up pretty soon and we have today's words so let's wrap up the whole thing all right it's going to come up pretty soon but it's really it's a really beautiful thing we have this what would you call this handlebars the handlebars we have the handbrake here to, to make it stop the handbrake we have the throttle control if you want to make it move you use the throttle control so again handlebars handbrake the throttle control right and this thing of beauty has got yeah that's the end that's the motor and this it's got a quick stand a kickstand to yeah. a very beautiful kickstand yeah. over there okay so here we have the words um, I think we're gonna need a couple of Hungarian words but it's really what I'm yeah so back to the Kaddish everybody uh, Martin can you help public transport, <laughs> public transport. okay the next one for us say it again cog wheel railway. railway excellent Érvényes jegy. Everybody, please. Valid Wonderful. <laughs> Ötletes masina. Ingenious machine. Good. Kátyú. Pothole. Everybody, please. Pothole. Pothole. Thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you for coming along. We really enjoyed Thank it. Thank you.